success in getting people in our community vaccinated. Joining us to talk more about the importance of getting your vaccine is Pastor Terrell Fletcher from the City of Hope International Church. Good morning, Pastor. Good to see you. Oh, I'm having trouble hearing your sound. Can you hit the... Uh... Uh, How about now? Good morning. Good, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> so, so tell us about this weekend. Uh, I hear it was a big success uh, to get members of the community vaccinated. I know it was the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Quick and easy. How did it go? It was it was fantastic. Let me first tell you about how many amazing partners we had. Um, UCSD Medical Center, um, our own governor, um, it, he is the one that opened up a thousand vaccines for us. And it was just a tremendous partnership with um, um, quite a few different community sources. So the, all of the many of the local and community churches were a part of it, as well as some of the community um, advocacy groups were a part of getting um, men and women that are in their roles um, an opportunity to take advantage of this vaccine. The J&J &J vaccine was um, given to over 1,300 people this Saturday, and it's the one and done shot. And it was just fantastic to watch all of the, the community come together to make this weekend happen. And I know there was a big push uh, and, and still is to really reach out to uh, members of c communities of color to get them vaccinated because there, you know, studies have shown some hesitancy to get the vaccine. What message are, are you putting out there to uh, members of the, the City of Hope International Church? Yeah, well, and not just the City of Hope International Church, even though, uh, you know, they they are my um, my, my love child <laughs> and it, not just the City of Hope, but this the community of San Diego, particularly men and women of color. Um, and that doesn't just include um, um, black men and women, but everyone in the city of San Diego that's considered a person of color. There has been some hesitancy and we've been challenging and reminding um, our communities that this is an us thing. It's, it's not one group of people or one demographic of, of San Diegans. This is an us thing. And when we all come together um, to create a herd immunity, we can, um, we can beat this thing, but it cannot happen without the participation of um, men and women of color. So we've been doing our research quickly and to the credit of the, the African-American community in particular, but to the credit of the San Diego communities of color, it, the response has been fantastic, fantastic. And, and we didn't expect anything different. And I know a lot of, you know, clergy members are, are trying to hold different um, t community hall type events, other events where they can ask questions of the medical community and really address the hesitancy that's there. Is that something that, that you've been doing that you'll continue to do? Sure. There, there are forums that are happening on a regular basis for any person, Let's, uh, not just for men and women of color, but for any person that has questions, that are, are having a difficult time um, understanding the information, or th they're just hesitant. You know, some people just don't like needles, and don't like medicine, and they're just hesitant about it, let alone to be challenged to giving a vaccine. Um, there, there are community forums that are taking place. Dr. Susanna Follow is one of our um, leading doctors here in the city of San Diego, her and her organization spend a lot of time getting the information out, even our own mayor's office. And shout out to our mayor. He was a part of um, uh, the event this weekend, came, spent a lot of time with the people. Um, it was fantastic watching that take place. And but the mayor's office called downtown. They have information, but also your local churches, community organizations and centers. And if you have a primary doctor, your primary doctor should have as much information as any of us would have about um, the shot you should get and how you can get a shot um, to be vaccinated. It's still a critical time. We're still in a very tedious position as, as a um, nation. And we can't let our guard down now just because there's a certain uh, demographic and population getting vaccine. We are still encouraging people to find the information out if you are um, concerned about it and try to get as much education as you can and go ahead and get vaccinated. And so will events like this weekend be happening again? Are you working on supply? What's, what's the next step? We, we, this is our fourth one. So it's not, this is, um, 
we've done this a handful of times. We've been in relationship with, uh, again, Dr. Follow is, is a significant um, leader in our community, Dr. Gillespie as well, um, Dr. Hood. But along with them, we've been partnering with the Black Nurses Association and other community advocacy groups that get shots. And as a city of hope, we're a resource to our city. We're a resource to the city of San Diego. So we just host it. We open up the doors. We bring volunteers in and we try to get the word out. Um, and that's kind of our labor of love to our to our community and to our city. We love being available to serve people. And there are so many amazing citizens here in the city of San Diego that feel the same way, that um, there's just a lot of respect and a lot of love that's happening to get the word out, to get communities, um, the information that's necessary. And there are, there are um, some great leaders that are taking their time to explain so that uh, the constituents can feel comfortable with doing this. This is massive. This has not happened before in most of our lives. So to tell everybody to hurry up, line up and get a shot, is is worth you say put the you know put the brakes on. Let's talk about this for a second. And given the t given that the time has added pressure to people's decision making, you know, it's um, no one wants to make decisions under pressure, especially one that could be um, a serious consequence. So, get get the information, ask as many questions. Don't feel afraid to ask the questions and get the information when you're comfortable make a bean line down to a to a local place, particularly if you are um, in the uh, the the age group and then the demographic get a shot and get vaccinated and let's get to her to me. All right, Pastor Terrell Fletcher, always good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Good to see you all too. You too. And thanks right. for, for leading by example. Appreciate it.